Greetings from the hangar. This is your captain speaking. AV8 and 8 here. You ever tap an old fuel gauge just to see if it'll tell you the truth? I used to do that every time I flew my Mooney. The instruments were vague, unreliable, and frankly dangerous. So I decided it was time to upgrade. Big time. This episode kicks off a three-part avionics transformation, starting with a modern engine monitor that changed everything. We're getting serious about upgrades on today's episode of AV8 Nate. Clear to land, runway 21, Mooney 58 X-ray. Let's talk about something that gets ignored in a lot of vintage airplanes engine monitoring. When I bought my 1964 Mooney M20E, it had everything I was looking for in an airplane. But the stock instruments? Sketchy. They were vague at best, and in a single engine airplane, vague equals risky. So I kicked off the first upgrade with what I consider the most essential tool for flying safely, the JPI EDM900 Primary Engine Monitor. This thing gives me data that used to be reserved for the turbine guys. CHTs, EGTs, oil pressure, fuel flow, voltage, all real time, all on one clean display. To prepare for the install, I had to remove the cowling and confirm which magnetos I had so I could order the right setup. I've got my motorized screwdriver. I am about to remove this panel. The reason is I need to see what kind of magnetos I have in here. Work on an upgrade. All right, here we go. Coming off. Oh yeah, hey, look at that. Not glamorous, but necessary. Here's a wild fact. By FAA standards, fuel gauges in GA aircraft only need to be accurate when they read empty. That's it. So if your gauge says half a tank, but you've actually got fumes, legally that's fine. And wouldn't you know it, fuel exhaustion is one of the top causes of GA accidents. My old gauges were the tap and pray variety. So the EDM's digital fuel quantity and usage information, huge upgrade. Now I fly with confidence and not with crossed fingers. As for cost, the unit ran me about $5,500, plus $1,200 for digital fuel senders. The install took nearly 60 hours of labor, another nearly $8,000. Painful? Sure. Worth it? Absolutely. Why? Because now I know what my engine is doing. I can detect a hot cylinder before it becomes a problem. I can lean more efficiently. I've got data and not guesses. And that makes me a safer pilot. And that's the whole point. And let's be honest, it looks awesome. The EDM900 gives my panel a serious upgrade in style and substance. So what's next? I'm heading to Galesburg, Illinois, where I learned to fly for the next chapter, a full glass flight deck conversion. But that's part two. Subscribe to the channel to see the rest of the adventure. And drop a comment below if you have a question about avionics, moonies, or anything aviation related. Until the next one, this is Aviate Nate, and you can be my wingman anytime. Clear to land, runway 21, Mooney 58 X-ray.